And now, the Freedom First Sports Desk with John Apicello. It was a special night. The rail yard dogs were one win away from hoisting that President's Cup, giving the dogs franchise their first ever hockey title. And you knew it was special by simply the number of cars parked blocks and blocks away from the Berglund. Huge crowd on hand with the cup hanging in the balance, and they were in the building tonight. Early action, dogs running the show, out shooting the Bulls 10-2 in the first period. This is Mac Jansen on the wing, sweeping into the net. Scoreless first, but they kept the pressure on. Second period, dogs break through. Josh Nenendahl from the corner had a screener in front. And it was enough. That one trickles through. one nothing. Dogs after two. Dogs closing seconds of this game. Still up. one to nothing. But there would be a gut wrencher here. Roanoke trying to clear the puck. It's in their zone. And Carson Rose sends it back in the net with 10 seconds left. We are tied. And for the second night in a row, Dan Bremner's squad must go to overtime again and try and pull this one out. In overtime, the veteran captain would come through in a big way. Here comes the rush. Steven Alvo on the rush somehow shovels the puck to Mac Jansen flying on the right. Puts the biscuit in the basket. 2-1 dogs in overtime. They capture their first President's Cup after a runner-up finish a year ago. Roanoke with reason to celebrate tonight. The dogs are the champs. Last year, same thing happened the other way. Just got to live in the moment. Just this group of guys, you know, they're my brothers. I'm so happy for them. They deserve it so much. But this group, this group continues to be that group that battles through and makes it harder on ourselves, but uh, find a way. Uh, I mean, when you talk about unfinished business, we definitely just finished it there. I mean, that, that was unbelievable. That was everything that we wanted it to be and more. Uh, giving up a goal that late in the third period, we didn't let it deflate us. We just kept on coming back. We knew we were going to win the game. We stuck to the process, and uh, yeah, the results speak for itself. We were the better team tonight. Uh, yeah, we battled through so much uh, from last year, uh, getting defeated from uh, Peoria and coming back uh, to knock them out in the second round, and then to finish it off is uh, is amazing. Everyone crushed it, killed it, and did an amazing job. Couldn't be more happy for the guys. All right, and the last hockey title in Rono came from the Rebels in 1974 in the Southern Hockey League. The Express, you'll recall them, won three division titles, but never a league crown.